So hello ladies and gentlemen, episode 45 and the finale of season 2 we are on our Aston Martin save. Now I'm terribly excited about this one and not really for our drivers. It has been labelled the jewel in the desert and it certainly is going to be. The Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, it's provided great spectacles in real life. It's going to provide a great spectacle today. Drivers standings wise and constructor standings is where we must start this video. So... Constructor standings, we have got P4 in the bag, Mercedes have got P3 in the bag, P1 though, there's still a bit of work to do, Red Bull find themselves 30 points behind Ferrari, who could clinch their Constructor's title. Now, driver standings, it's down to two people, and those two people are Carlos Sainz and Max Verstappen. Max Verstappen is nine points behind the Spaniard in the Red Bull, what can he do this afternoon? Who knows? If we have a look further down, Charles Leclerc and Sergio Perez still very much battling it out for P3, uh, but Charles Leclerc does like, look like he's got it wrapped up. Lewis Hamilton, P5, very comfortable. Pierre Gasly is one point in front of George Russell. Will he stay one point in front of George Russell by the end of this episode? Uh, George Russell, 165 points, and Fernando Alonso, comfortable P8. So it's uh, basically down to two things. Who wins the driver's title? Who wins the constructors? But then, more importantly for us, does Pierre Gasly manage to stay in front of George Russell? And we, do we manage to beat a Mercedes driver in the driver's standings? Pierre Gasly cemented as our number one driver for next season, it must be said, on this. Uh, Car-wise, we're still developing for next season. All the research is going on for next season. You're not bothered about any of that. So let's have a look at this race weekend and the circuit info, the Yaz Marina circuit. 2009, the first race here, 58 laps. Max Verstappen holds the lap record. Great track. This has been changed a little bit in recent years since that 2021 finale. Uh, car attributes, top speed, low speed, medium speed cornering. I fancy us to do quite well here. Expect strategies. You can do a one-stop medium onto hard. Sebastian Vettel showed this, this year just gone that that may not be optimal. A two-stop may be worth it. Safety cars can happen, as we know only too well. Um, but this could be a fantastic race. Last year, Charles Leclerc won it. Max Verstappen finished second. Max Verstappen repeating that. Who knows? We're going to get to practice, get the qualifying done, and we will see you for qualifying for the finale of Season 2 here in Yas Marina. We're at Yaz Island in Abu Dhabi for the Formula One Grand Prix. The Yaz Marina circuit was completed in 2009 and we've seen a fair share of celebration and commiseration over the years since then. The scenery may be spectacular, but this weekend, all eyes will be on the track. There's a reason why the Yaz Marina circuit is used as a test track. The long straights put engine power through its paces, while the twists and bends make medium speed downforce just as important at this challenging circuit. This is it. We're down to the last few races of the season, and it's time for that final push. Who will be crowned champion at the end of it all? We'll find out soon enough. Let's get this underway. Now, we've had a crash in practice, so I thought we might as well show you this. Let's have a little look what happens here. Schumacher involved. Oh, my word. The Alpha Tower has absolutely yeeted Schumacher. Schumacher's out. And my word, that was a bad, bad crash for Schumacher. We hope he's okay. Uh, Alright guys, looking pretty quick in practice one, well, we don't normally show you this, uh, but Pierre Gasly looking pretty decent, Drogovic is in for Alonso for practice one, but yeah, all looking good, but god that's going to hurt for Mick Schumacher. Absolutely huge news at the end of Q1, Lewis Hamilton is knocked out, didn't have the greatest first run at all, and then on the final run Yuki Sonoda smashed into the barriers, causing yellow flags, which means Hamilton and Russell didn't improve, George Russell incredibly lucky not to be knocked out so all to play for pa gasly p10 fernando alonso p6 going into q2 final laps in q2 now it must be said fernando alonso has had the pace on pa gasly all weekend he's green through the first and second sectors pa gasly looks like he's going out here in q2 fernando alonso crosses the line comfortable p7 it's all on what Pierre Gasly can do, and Pierre Gasly has snuck in, and Pierre Gasly's not George Russell out of qualifying. George Russell is out in Q2. Alonso and Gasly 
both getting through to Q3. That's a huge result for Pierre Gasly. Sergio Perez quickest in Q2. Max Verstappen in P3 and Carlos Sainz. It's going to be a battle between the Red Bulls and Ferraris. Valtteri Bottas, stonking lap. Uh, P5 in Q2, lovely stuff. Right, on to Q3. Exciting times. So this is it then, final qualifying laps of the season. Fernando Alonso and Pierre Gasly both now on fresh soft compound tyres. Fernando Alonso currently sat in P9. Is he going to manage to improve on that? Pierre, uh, Fernando Alonso goes at P7, but Pierre Gasly is on a real flying lap here. What can he do? Pierre Gasly, can he put some distance between himself and George Russell? He certainly can. 7th and 8th for the Aston Martin. Great qualifying from Bottas again. He's massively outperforming that car. And it's got to beg the question, is it worth bringing him in? But in the battle at the top, the battle for the driver's standings, Max Verstappen takes pole position in Abu Dhabi. Carlos Sainz and Charles Leclerc, second and third. Sergio Perez will start in P4. This is going to be some Grand Prix. Let's get to the strategy screen. Right, we are mixing up with the strategies. Fernando Alonso has got a fresh set of soft compound tyres, and I want to use them at some point during the race. I like to have the hard compound in the bag, though, in case we do get a safety car. So Fernando Alonso is going to be starting on the mediums. He may go one stop. Depends on what happens. We're going to be very flexible in this race. Both cars starting on the medium, both on two stops, but Pierre Gasly hasn't got soft compound tyre, so he's on medium, medium, hard. Um, and Fernando Alonso is on medium, soft, hard. Right then, five red lights, final Grand Prix of the season. Let's get it on. Hold on tight. It's the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. And it's lights out. And away we go. And away we go. And straight away, it's all eyes. We're going to run with this at the front. Max Verstappen leads away. Carlos Sainz in P2. They all get through the first corner. But straight away, Pierre Gasly is having a look. He's gone very, very deep into that first corner. Our two guys, there's no team orders today. George Russell is in P10. That has got to be the person we're looking at. Fernando Alonso in P7. But Max Verstappen leads it away beautifully. In it's the first couple of corners, but he has got two charging Ferraris behind him. And Carlos Sainz will ride on board with Carlos Sainz. He's going for a move on that one. Max Verstappen covers him off. Carlos Sainz to the inside. Is he going to get the move done? Carlos Sainz down the inside. Is he going to manage to get the move done? He isn't. Max Verstappen still just about staying in front. But they are side by side coming up the second long DRS straight. Obviously no DRS enabled as of yet. But this is straight away a preview of what we're going to be seeing for the next 58 laps. Carlos Sainz to the inside. Attacking Max Verstappen. Carlos Sainz isn't going to manage to make it stick. Max Verstappen will have the inside line into the next turn. Still side by side going through the sector three final few corners on lap one. It's Sainz versus Verstappen. It's great clean racing from both drivers. Charles Leclerc, his teammate, he's just watching what's going on in front of him. He's got the best seat in the house apart from you guys this afternoon. And as we cross the line, Max Verstappen does just about hold on to the lead. Meanwhile, a little bit further back, Fernando Alonso nearly out of the RS range of Sergio Perez straight away. And Pierre Gasly not doing a cracking job either. But George Russell has lost the place to Guan Yu Zhou. It does make you wonder... Are the Mercs running with some older components? We will have to see and have a look at that. But as things stand at this moment in time, Max Verstappen leads away lap two. And coming on to lap three, just to uh, accentuate that point a little bit, Lewis Hamilton's car, look at the engine, ERS and gearbox wear, all in the 30%. And as is George Russell. So George Russell will not be firing on all cylinders this afternoon. Max Verstappen's got a decent engine in his car, as has Carlos Sainz. So the race for the Drivers' Championship, very much on. Our guys really struggling to keep pace with uh, Sergio Perez especially. But Pierre Gasly deploying that ERS just to catch up to his teammate and doing a decent job at this moment in time. Lap 3, still 7th and 8th, but Carlos Sainz has the lead of the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Lap 10, and just a little checking on the standings at the moment, Max Verstappen is leading. Charles Leclerc has overtaken his teammates as well, so Carlos signs a little bit further down than he would like to be. Esteban Ocon's having a cracking race, as is Valtteri Bottas. Sergio Perez 
struggling to get past these two cars. As you can see, Sebastian Vettel having a very good race as well. Currently running in P7. He's overtook both Alonso and Gasly. Um, we were the head of the DRS train. We're not quite in the league of Sergio Perez at this moment in time. But Pierre Gasly and Fernando Alonso latching onto the back of Sebastian Vettel. Lines I didn't expect to be saying today. Guan Yu Zhou is also in this train, as is George Russell. We are towing George Russell along. The two-stop strategy we're going to have to hold is optimal. Fernando Alonso is going to have to use his soft compound tyres to really cut through when he can. If we have a look at this, 11 laps in, George Russell's on 62% soft compound tyres, so they're not wearing overly badly if we look at it compared to the, uh, the medium compounded tyre. Lots to be optimistic about for our guy. Um, but Kevin Magnussen's having a real go at George Russell as well. And Fernando Alonso has just got past Sebastian Vettel, lap 11. Lap 16, we've got some soft compound runners that are in for hard compound tyre. George Russell, what's the answer? He's onto the hards as well. So a lot of cars going onto the hard compound. If that's the one stop, that's a very, very brave one stop. Sergio Perez in as well. Neither of the front two guys, Leclerc, Verstappen and Sainz are coming in just yet but we're going to be coming in in a couple of laps time with both our guys for the two stop but sixth and seventh now uh, just latching on to Sebastian Vettel Sebastian Vettel is on the medium compound of tyre as well but looking after his tyres rather well in the Alpine lap 16 Fernando is into the pits lap 19 on for the soft compound of tyre now this is where it gets really interesting we've saved the RS we've saved fuel it is hammer time for Fernando Alonso. Pierre Gasly now is still getting the DRS of Sebastian Vettel, so that's working lovely for Pierre Gasly. That's all fine. Total pit time, 2.6 seconds. Not the best. Now, where is Fernando? We're going to try and get him in some clean air. That was the plan. He's going to come out behind George Russell, which is not the end of the world, but now he's got the pace. Now he's got the pace. He's going to be using the DRS, and we'll come back when Pierre's in the pits in a second. Lap 20, Pierre okay. in the pits, in for the medium compounded tyre. Let's see what Pierre can do. Where is he going to come out here, Pierre? That is the interesting thing. Fernando Alonso has been told now, nah, get your sense shifting. So we can see Pierre Gasly coming out of the pit lane. So Fernando is going to stay in front and by some distance as well. Fernando now on these soft compounded tyres, absolutely rocking. We know that Pierre can go aggressive on these tyres to get to the hard compound. But Fernando Alonso is going to pick up some DRS as well. We're just going to stick with this because I reckon we'll fast forward it down a little bit. He's going to get past George Russell, I would imagine. Uh, certainly, if not on this straight, on the next. He does get past George Russell. Is he going to get DRS on the next straight? I don't believe he is. The Mercedes is going to get it. But Fernando Alonso is on at four of fastest lap attempts. And while all this is happening, we've got the first man in from the front runners, Carlos Sainz. He's in for the hard compound. It looks possibly like a one-stop for the Ferrari of Carlos Sainz. How will Max Verstappen respond? Well, I'm sure we're going to see as the sun goes down here in Abu Dhabi. We're looking at Fernando Alonso. Is Fernando Alonso going to get the fastest lap? I'd imagine he's going to. All that ERS and being deployed and Fernando Alonso crosses the line. Fastest lap of the Grand Prix for Fernando Alonso. Lap 21. Oh dear, Lewis Hamilton, he's following very, very closely to the Alpha Tower and then has a massive whoopsie. I manages to avoid the wall, Lewis Hamilton, but it's not been the Mercedes day so far this afternoon. Pierre Gasly, though, four seconds back from George Russell, got some work to do. Lap 21 and lap 22, we're obviously watching this battle at the front very, very closely. Max Verstappen is coming in for the hard compounded tyre. Now, where? Where is Max Verstappen going to come out? The undercut's looking a little bit more positive than the overcut, but Max Verstappen will have pressure compound tyre towards the end of the Grand Prix. Carlos Sainz, where is Carlos Sainz? Coming down the start for his straight, and Carlos Sainz looks like he's going to be clear of Max Verstappen. We're not going to see Max Verstappen emerge just yet. Is Max Verstappen going to manage to stay in front of Sebastian Vettel? This could be absolutely key for the Dutchman's, uh, Dutchman's Grand Prix this afternoon. Max Verstappen emerges 2.5 seconds behind Carlos Sainz. At the moment, it looks like it is Carlos Sainz to lose. Lap 22. Lap 25, Fernando Alonso is having to make his way through traffic and he got past uh, he got past the Alfa Romeo beautifully there of Valtteri Bottas and now he's attacking the Alpine in front of him. So Fernando is going to be making up a couple of places in the next lap or so. Uh, we are still on board with Pierre Gasly. He's looking at the back of Valtteri Bottas. 
Um, can't quite get past him at this moment in time, but he can see his main rival up the road in George Russell. But I think George Russell is going to have the better tyres towards the end of this race, unless we go for softs, which is something that we could possibly do. Fernando Alonso now can attack Esteban Ocon and use his soft compound tyre. That's something that we need Fernando to do. We'll just get time to Arvis a little bit as well. Pierre Gasly very much in this fight at the moment. Lap 25. Battle at the front, signs of us happen, 2.3 seconds in Carlos Sainz's favour. The Spaniard could win his first world driver's title here in Abu Dhabi this evening. We have had a crash on the circuit, but no safety car. A safety car now would be ideal for us. It really, really would. Sergio Perez just clipping the wall there. I don't believe he's out of the Grand Prix. We will just take a look at this. Not too happy on the Red Bull pit wall, but Sergio Perez now down to P10. Fernando Alonso can't seem to keep pace with Esteban Ocon through these uh, high-speed corners. Something we're, obviously we're going to improve next year. Pierre Gasly trying to hang on to the back of these two cars, but struggling a little bit at the moment. Fernando Alonso, I'm hoping he's going to uh, he's going to do well towards the end of the show. Like I said, safety car now would be ideal for us, especially with these on hard compounded tyres. They'd have to switch to mediums. We would be on the hard compounded tyre. We would be on much better tyres towards the end of the Grand Prix. But lap 28, gap is now two seconds of Stappen to Sainz. Sainz, it looks like he's got it in the bag. Leclerc is in P3. Esteban Ocon's having a cracking race in P4. Lap 31, Fernando is in. He was losing a hell of a lot of time. Pierre Gasly got past him and he'd already lost the RS by half a lap. Um, so we really, really needed to get Fernando in. He's now coming in for his final pit stop onto the R compound attire. Hopefully, the undercut will work a little bit well. We are going to get him in some clean air as well, which should be, uh, should be decent for Fernando. Uh, we're looking at George Russell at this moment in time. He's catching Esteban Ocon. And he's, even though his engine's practically kaput, he's doing very, very well. Meanwhile, Fernando Alonso is now going to come out behind or with Alexander Albon, should I say. And hopefully now on these tyres, we can expect a decent performance towards the end for Fernando. So P14 for Fernando, Pierre Gasly, a little bit longer to go yet. But George Russell's reeled in Esteban Ocon. Great work from him, lap 31. Pierre Gasly is in for his second pit stop, and it must be said on the pit wall, we're sat here thinking we may have not made a very good job of this race. Um, it's a little bit disappointing. We're now going onto the hard compound tyre. They're going to be going onto the mediums. I'm not sure we've got the strategy right today. Have we cost Pierre a place in the driver's standings? We shall see. But lap 36, we're on the hard compound tyre now. We were considering goal hanging for a safety car. That didn't quite come either. Uh, but Pierre Gasly is going to come out in front of Fernando Alonso by a little bit. He's going to stay out with the DRS of uh, Alexander Albon as well. Uh, Fernando Alonso has got Sergio Perez for company, which is uh, is not ideal either. But hopefully that, uh, that Red Bull might just pull us along if he gets in front. But Pierre Gasly now, it is literally hammer time. He's got to use these tyres while he's on the pressure tyres. Get some of the time back and hopefully we can undercut George Russell. Meanwhile, at the front, the gap is now down to four tenths of a second between Max Verstappen and Carlos Sainz. But even if, I think even if Max Verstappen does manage to pass him and get past this lap, he's not going to manage to win his Drivers' Championship. So Carlos Sainz, even if he gets overtaken, should still have enough in the bag to do the job. But Pierre Gasly now all on this man to see if he can outdo George Russell towards the end of this Grand Prix, lap 37. So this was the and then this happens. Pierre Gasly spins it out of the final corner. You can look at strategy and say it wasn't optimal, but we were still in it. And these heads in hands in the Aston Martin garage. Concerning looks there from our race engineers. Pierre Gasly does come back onto the track, but in P16, we've had a crash on track. I mean, if a safety car comes out, that would change things somewhat. Um, lap 39, we we'll stick with it. Kevin Magnussen has crashed. Oh, Let's have a look at this. Kevin Magnussen, here. Kevin Magnussen, I'm guessing it's into the final corner where Pierre Gasly's just spun and Magnussen just clips the wall, but no safety car. Lap 39 coming on to fourth. They're 15th and 16th for Aston Martin. This is just like season one. Something rather interesting is happening at the front. Max Verstappen's taking the lead. Charles Leclerc in second. 
Paul Lost Signs is in third. Now, if we have a look at the data view and the driver's standings, that would mean that Max Verstappen would win the driver's title by one point. Surely the Ferrari team's got to be on the radio to Charles Leclerc saying, please either overtake Max Verstappen or you've got to let Carlos Sainz through. At the moment, George Russell is doing just enough to get that point required to overtake Pierre Gasly. We need some help from elsewhere or a safety car, but this is going down to the wire. And if Carlos Sainz doesn't win it because of Charles Leclerc, my God, I wouldn't want to be in that Ferrari debrief, lap 53. Final lap of the Grand Prix, Charles Leclerc is leading from Carlos Sainz, but, but we have got Pierre Gasly very much in the fight now. Pierre Gasly is just overtaking Danny Ricciardo and he's now looking at George Russell in front of him. George Russell, tyres wise, is less. He's got more tyre wear. Pierre Gasly is in the fight to beat George Russell in the driver's standings. We're not on the final lap yet, but these guys at the front certainly are. Charles Leclerc looks like he's got it nailed now. Carlos Sainz beat him. Max Verstappen, he might beat Carlos Sainz on circuit, but he's not going to beat him in the driver's standings. So it's all on Pierre Gasly. We're just going to conserve a little bit out of this corner and then it's full attack mode. It's full attack mode from Pierre Gasly. Fernando Alonso is not going to score points today, but Pierre Gasly just might. Five tenths, he's got to catch George Russell. Can he do it? He hasn't got much ERS. He hasn't got much ERS at all. George Russell, he's going to be looking at Lewis Hamilton. It's all going to come down to this. We're going to ride on board with Pierre Gasly for the last lap of the second season here on RF1 Manager Mode. Now, does Pierre Gasly go for it in this first DRS zone or the second? We're not going to tell him to use any added DRS, but Pierre Gasly has pulled to the left-hand side of George Russell. Charles Leclerc comes across the line to win the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, and this is it. This is it. Will Pierre Gasly go for the move? He could have gone for the move. He didn't go for the move, and this is it. Deploy Charles Leclerc has won, but now Pierre Gasly, use the ERS, use the tyres, can Pierre Gasly overtake George Russell, he's using absolutely everything that he's got, and I don't think he's going to manage it, he's not managed it into that corner, will he manage to get a move done into the final sector, he's looking to use all the ERS, chuck one up the inside Pierre, please chuck one up the inside, I don't think he's going to manage it, Pierre Gasly, He's just going to miss out on beating George Russell in the driver's standings. We'll flick, flick to the TV view. Pierre Gasly, he's drove a fantastic race. He's obviously spun, and it does make me think if he just hadn't had spun the car, where would he have finished up? But Pierre Gasly comes on to take one point, and unfortunately for us, yeah, thanks, guys. that is going to mean that he doesn't beat uh, George Russell in the driver's standings but driver's standings is where we're going to start Carlos Sainz wins his first driver's title in the Ferrari Max Verstappen second Charles Leclerc comes third um, Pierre Gasly P6 he did actually beat George Russell level on points but did manage to finish above him due to I'm guessing the podiums so Pierre Gasly actually does finish above George Russell we beat a Mercedes in the driver's standings but Ando Alonso finishes P8, constructors wise, Ferrari win the constructors from Red Bull, Mercedes third, Aston Martin, what an improvement. One win this season, three podiums, eight fastest laps. It's been a good season for Aston Martin on the track this year. We've, we've massively improved from season one. And now it's going to be all change going into season two. Now we've got new cars, we've got new liveries, we've got new everything for season three. All going to be revealed on the next episode. I hope to see you there. Like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. ta -ra.